the top 10 Ozzy Osbourne songs, a big fan of Ozzy of course. Um, I do really like his first two albums, his uh, Bark at the Moon album, was alright, it's a good album. Uh, Ultimate Sin is really underrated, then you have the, the Wicked album, that's alright. No More Tears is a great album, great comeback record and supposedly his quitting, but that's not really the case. Um, then he did Old Moses, didn't really care for that, and that's pretty much everything I've heard by him. Um, you know, I, I believe he continued in the zeros in the 2000s, but I haven't really checked that out, so... Um, love watch, watch on the list. Um, yeah, I can't really make this video that long, I can only make like 20 minutes, so... You just have to kind of like storm through it. Can't, uh, can't pause too much. <laughs> Supposed to be my farewell tour, flips the audience off. Randy Rose. This is a debut album, man. Fucking great. I want to say that the whole. There are like 10 songs in the album, so put the whole um, Blazer Was album on there, but I believe there are 9 songs, so almost. Keep steady, you fucking dipshit. There we go. I just love the rock, crispy sound. I actually thought I did this list like way earlier back in the day, but I've never done Ozzy Osbourne. That's that's pretty weird. I love, I love Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy Osbourne, never mind. Oh yes, fuck yeah. I believe I've actually looked him up like Randy Rhodes' discography. He wasn't quite right before this. I was like, this. One hell of an improvement. Fucking hell. From Quiet Ride to to become the guitar player of uh, Ozzy Osbourne. That's one hell of an improvement. Mama, I'm coming. I love this song. Uh, Mama, I'm coming home. Not exactly for me, but it's a great song. Number nine. Mama, I'm coming home. No more tears, man. It's such a classic. Here I come, but I'm in the same. I just love the show and I love the emotion. Because I believe Mnum Jeff said that um, I only like heavy music. This song is mellow as fuck, and I love this song. It's a great song. Okay, Lemmy and Zach Wilde. Fucking legends. While he obviously never stopped touring, this song became a successful power ballad showcasing Ozzy's soft side. It was really, honestly, if you really look at it, it was really the last great moment of Ozzy, man. It's really fucking fantastic. This this is really the only album for me that matches up with the first two for you. M Mr. Crowley, best Ozzy Osbourne song ever. How how this is number eight or something is beyond me. I don't understand how they do it, but Mr. Crowley, best Ozzy Osbourne song hands down. I don't care what you say. Top ten Ozzy Osbourne songs is number one. Mr. Crowley. Especially this live version right there. Beginning with an organ solo and then moving on to Ozzy's tales of Alistair Crowley. I fucking Mr. Crowley love this the song. Stage for one of Randy Rose's most impressive axe displays ever. The success of guitar solo. Just a fucking ear guys, man. Um. What did I want to say again? I believe this was number two on their heavy metal solos list. 
And I actually agree with that. I think that Tornado of Souls is hands down the best solo ever. I believe Alex said that the one was better, but Tornado, I mean Megadeth, number one. Fucking happy with that. So that's true. Tornado of Souls is the best guitar solo ever in, well, in my opinion of all time, but in metal for sure. And this is second right here. This is this is the the silver prize, but still really fucking good. Don't you know uh, that the silver doesn't mean it's any any less good. It's all bar. This fucking tear drops in my eye, man. Music fan, thank you for requesting this, man. Uh, fucking all Aussie. And then they skipped the so yeah, I I paused it, they skipped it. Fucking hell. Number seven, flying high again. <laughs> Not only was often put the topic front and center. Hey kids, don't do drugs. Oh Ozzy. He 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 looks like he looks like a spoiled like breath. Like you know, a fucking uh, like a girl that just is wasted as fuck, like a like a generic Barbie bitch or something that just w is wasted as fuck and tries to sing. That's how he looks. No offense, also you're a legend, but you look really bad here. Jakey Lee looks great. Though. I love Jakey Lee's look right there. Yep. And Jake Lee's guitar playing. Well, Randy Rose plays on the original, but uh, Jake Lee plays live. And then he does it again. I love this song. One of the most underrated guitars ever, for sure. Shut up, dude. I'm doing Ozzy. Dylan is still upset that I don't like it, for sure. Bitch, I'm reacting to Ozzy Osbourne. Fuck off. Ozzy destroys Usher, if that's even a thing. The soda right here. Just, I'm breathless, I'm breathless. Um, it's just such a fantastic solo. Arguably on point with No More Tears. Mr. Crowley if you want to go there, but nothing beats Mr. Crowley for me. I just love the 90s hair by Ozzy and like one of the guitars. Their hair is just so... Fucking beautiful, man. <laughs> Good. But I just love it how they look beautiful as fuck, in my opinion, at least. And they still rock out with Ozzy, man. That's just the best. It's just the best. No. Even Zach looks crazy. Now he looks like a homeless man. <laughs> I just love like the hand gesture that Ozzy does. Just so over the top. You, you don't quite beat uh, Stephen Wilson with the hand gestures. You know, whatever he does like that, but um, he's still close second though. Number four, no more tears. Beginning with a baseline that transitions to Ozzy's longest solo song clocks in at over seven minutes. Zach Wilde produced a wide array of excellent tunes, including Breaking All the Rules. 
uh, no rest for the wicked. I said no prayer for the wicked. This is like no prayer for the dying and no rest for the wicked. <laughs> it's a great compilation album though, probably. But this is an unrated album though. Rest, huh? Oh fuck. We actually like headbang and like this comes out. That was a That was a great line right there. Indeed. That's a great line right there, I love that. It's on par with the Beatles according to Watch Mojo. Yeah, this was the last true great show though, really. Diary of a Madman. Number three, Diary of a Madman. They had like a sort of error in that video because it showed the clip. It showed number three and then it went away and then they said it, so that was an error. Indeed. You have all, you only have to listen to that song, honestly. Look no further than the eponymous closing track of Ozzy's second solo album. The title track. Its magical opening is mirrored in acoustic and electric versions. Where it's intense build-up. And electrifying solo. I may ruin this album cover for you. I never really liked it, honestly. I just think that Ozzy looks really cringy. And actually, if you want to have it even ruined even more, there's actually like his son in the background doing this. Like it's, like what, well, that's so out of place. Why is he there? There's just no explanation with this album. I do really love like the, um, like the window, like the, the blue lighting, I re really love that. I love the Aussie logo, I love the, the text. I love like the entire room except for those two. I don't like those, but it's pretty cool beside that. It's undoubtedly Rhodes and Osborne's most impressive musical collaboration. One off. Flying Eye then. Over, over the mountain. mountain. It's a good song, but not number two. Accentuated by Rhodes guitars, drummer Lee Kerslake kicks off Ozzy's second album with a deafening drum intro. That's one hell of a drum intro. Over the mountain solidifies his power with the outro riff. Performed by Brad Gill Gillis in concert. They never did that actually. Uh, Grace Train. Oh, no, uh, no honorable mentions. Number one, That's fair. Crazy Train. Containing what's arguably one of heavy metal's most memorable riffs, yep. Crazy Train is both Ozzy Osbourne's and Randy Rhodes' signature song. The lyrics provide a prompt into Ozzy's state of mind, while Randy's solo is unparalleled. Mr. Crowley. But of course it's the most popular Aussie song, so I guess. Of the Prince of Darkness, the song isn't just the greatest Aussie track of all time, it's also among the greatest in heavy metal, period. Yeah, that's fair. It doesn't get much better than this, though. And there's some nice sweeping, sweeping on this track. There are some good moments on Perry Mason, but nothing, nothing lifts up to uh, No More Tears. Nothing lifts up, up, up to that point. So we go. Uh, Ozzy, love him, love him where I hate him, I love him, so there we go. 
Uh, let me know what you think about them in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Um, follow me on all music, on a metal storm, and on my other channel, Shadow Realms. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this one. Uh, let me know what you think about them in the comments. Uh, we can still read some comments, I guess, because we still have four minutes time. Mom, I'm coming home exactly. I know the concept of these videos, but it should be illegal to cut off Randy in the middle of a soda. Exactly. He should be like crucified for that. Don't cut sodas, please don't do that. What's your favorite Ozzy Osbourne song? I don't know. I can't understand. He has too many great songs. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know. It's the, the song. Well, <laughs> crazy train is the bad now. Mr. Mr. Crowder should be number one, exactly. Bind Crazy Train. Ah, cra crazy Train can be tossed off this list, but it's still classic. Everyone loves Mr. Crowley, except I already liked it like a year ago. I've already seen this list, honestly, but it's still nice to see it again. Top 10 drugs taken by all <laughs> Spelled wrong, but it's still a funny, funny comment. I just want you. That's probably a lyric, but I don't understand. Uh, the Prince of Darkness is more ten, than ten great songs. Probably should make another one. Another one. Another one. Oh, they actually have an I don't know live version of uh, of I don't know. So sure, okay. Uh, Mr. Crowley, Bark at the Moon, No More Tears, Shot in the Dark, and probably Grace Train. Yep. <laughs> You're such a basic bitch, Anthony Pancake. Uh, maybe a, a, a joke, like a word joke on um, on Anthony Fantano. Come on, guys. Well, no, back on Earth is number one. So is that like one of the songs on um, on uh, Blizzard of Oz? Uh, I believe it is. I don't even know. I haven't listened to the record in ages, to be honest. But it is a great record, though, for sure. Uh, no, it isn't. No. Alright. Shall we go? Um, yeah. Uh, more comments. Still waiting for Ozzy to get inducted as a solo act like, into the rock and roll. Rock hall any day now. Yeah, because I believe he's already in there with Sabbath, but not with uh, Ozzy. So he's, he's technically in the Rock and Roll fame, but you know, he should be, he should be with Ozzy as well, so there we go. It's a shame Perry Mason is on there, that's a great song as well. Where's Dreamer uh, from Down to Earth? It's not really that good of an album, but there we go. Mr. Crowley, number 8, this is a joke, exactly. All 10 should be from Rhodes era. Nah, not, not in my opinion, but those are the two best albums for sure. Where's You Can't Kill Rock and Roll? Uh, I haven't heard that song, I think. Rose are red, violets are blue. When I listen to Ozzy, my name is the two. <laughs> exactly. Physically impossible, fuck yeah, dude. La la, go fast car. Crazy names. Um, but thank you for watching this video. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think about Ozzy. In the comments down below. Um, the other things I just said, God bless you, take care. And peace.